Hi, my name is Ming. Welcome to my channel. I'm not going to show you how to do a makeup tutorial today, but I'm going to show you how to do this makeup brush rolled up bag. It's very easy to make. You can make one for all your brushes. It's easy to carry around, especially when you're traveling. So if you like what you see, then stay with me and let's get started. First, fold one edge of your hand towel four and three quarter inches up. Secure both folded edges with pins. Then place your brushes along the folded edge to figure out the space needed for each brush. Use a ruler to measure the ideal brush pocket width. I have seven small and two large brushes here, so I decided to give all the small brushes one inch wide pocket and split the leftover width in the middle for the two larger brushes. After locking the numbers, start using pins to make stitch marks. My very first pin will be one inch away from the first stitching line that is a quarter inch away from the edge of the towel. This will make my second stitching line one and a quarter inch away from the towel's edge. Then continue with pins till all the pocket stitching lines are marked. For the very last two pockets, I had four and a quarter inches left over. We will need quarter inch seam allowance to close the edges, which that left me with a total of four inches. That will give me two inches for each pocket. It's time for stitching. When you are sewing, please remember to backstitch beginning and the end of stitch lines. Continue stitching down all the pocket lines. For the very last edge, it will be easier to turn the towel around and sew the edges together. For next step, put all the brushes into the pockets. Roll it up. Wrap the elastic around the brush bag. Add half inch foot seam allowance, and this will be the length for the elastic closure. Remember not to make the elastic too short, otherwise it will be too tight, but it needs to be firm enough. Fold the elastic closure in half. Line the raw edges to the tile's edge right above the fold. I'm going to pin it to show you what I'm trying to do here. Now it's time to stitch it down. After the first stitch is done, cut away a little edge of the elastic. This will prevent the raw edges of the elastic from showing. Fold it to the other side and stitch down the second line. And you're done. Like I said, it's pretty simple, right? So this is it. If you like this DIY tutorial, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions down below, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye for now.